All right, boys and girls. Today we are gonna have fun with some rhymes. We'll take a little time and come together like birds that flock together. Nope, not good for the rhyming, but that's worth a shot. We'll mix it back up and see what we got. Okay, so, so that was a little fun rhyme that I was just coming up with. Um, right now I got some new material. So it is a cereal box, okay? And it's very good, like a cardboard kind of material. So we're gonna use it for our game today. We're gonna play the rhyming game today, okay? So we're gonna have some rhyming uh, pictures. So we're gonna draw some pictures, and we're gonna make a game. So first, what we need to do is look at the puzzle pieces or the card for the game. So we need to draw, we need to have three rows, okay, like this. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go zigzag, zigzag and then this one we're gonna do a big zigzag the big one not too and then this one we're gonna do wavy so a couple different styles of lines so we have curvy we have really big zigzags and we have kind of a lot more squishy zigzags okay so now what we need to do is we need to start by drawing our pictures. Okay, so we're gonna put our pictures on here. And our first one is going to be lips. So we're gonna go up, down, up, down. Okay? And then in the middle, we're gonna go like a little U. And then to the edge, a little U into the edge. Okay, so that is lip. Okay, then a rhyming word would be zip. So we're gonna think of a zipper. So we're gonna go like this. So the zipper. So that's one piece. And then we're gonna draw this piece. down the middle zigzag line down the middle and then at the top the zipper is opened up it's kind of like a Y and we draw these little teeth for the zipper okay and then the last one is gonna be chip so it's kind of like a happy face like another happy face. And then up here would be like a Dorito or a chip. And then inside the bowl would be like guacamole or salsa or something that you're dipping it in. Okay, so that's our lip, zip, And chip okay so that's our first one so we'll do more but let's um, see what it's gonna look like actually you know what let's keep going and we'll do them on then we'll cut it out at the end okay so now we got to do cat okay so we're gonna do eyeball eyeball little tiny nose Okay, little happy face, so cute, so cute. Okay, take the face. The whiskers. The ears. And the body. Hands, feet, tail, 
and we're gonna spell it. C A T. Cat. Okay. Now we need the next word. Bat. So, like a baseball bat. And then the last one over here on this side, because we're doing three rhyming words. So, lip, zip, chip, cat, bat, hat. Okay, so now we're gonna go down, down, so kind of like an N. We're gonna do like an oval around it. Put a line there. And then maybe put some texture on one side and color in the other one. So that's a hat. We have lip, zip, chip, cat, bat, hat. And our final one is going to be a little face. And you can draw your own faces too, so don't worry. So a face with little antenna. And a bug body, because this is a bug. That's his belly. Here's his back. Some spots like a ladybug. Here's his legs. And his hands. Okay, so this is. bug and then we're gonna rhyme something rhymes with bug is going to be a jug so we're gonna go like this so we do a little oval two sides out it's almost like that antenna but upside down and then like a square okay and then we're gonna put a handle on it We're gonna put the label on it and whatever you want you can make maybe this is milk or water I'm gonna make it water so that's a jug that has water in it so we're gonna say jug and then the last one is gonna be a coffee mug okay so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna do oval And then that same kind of U shape. Okay, so an oval with that same similar kind of U shape. And we'll put some coffee or tea inside, and it's gonna be hot, so it's gonna be streaming up. You can see the heat. And then we're gonna put the handle. So one curve right next to it, and then we'll put it like on a table so we'll give it a little shadow and this is gonna be a mug okay so now we have lip zip chip cat bat hat bug jug mug so we are rhyming okay so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these and since we did it on our cardboard we can cut it and it'll turn into a game piece. So I'm gonna cut it out and I'm gonna cut across the bottom of each one. Okay. Okay, so I have one, two, three, and this is my extra, so I'll put it over there. But now remember the lines that we did, so we need to cut really slowly and do curvy lines.
Okay, so that's one curvy line. And then here's another curvy line. Whoa, we made like puzzles. Look at how it goes together. Whoa, it's like a puzzle. Okay, so those are those three. So now here's one. Uh, that's a little close to my hat, so I'm gonna move it over a little. Okay, I don't want it to be that close to my hat. So I'm gonna do one, two, three cuts for my hat, okay, for my bat. I'm gonna move this one over too. I don't like how it's that far. Okay, so it's a little close to my cap too, but I think I'm gonna let it go. Just go with it. Okay, so now look. I have cat, bat, hat. Okay, and now my final one. This one's a little trickier because it's lots of zigzags. So one way, then the other way. One way, then the other way. One way, then the other way. Okay. So I have lip, zip. Okay, boys and girls, you see how fast I'm cutting? This is because I do cutting a lot. When I cut a lot like this, I get so much better at it, and it just makes it easier and fun. So make sure you're practicing. Maybe you could even do this with something else too. But always practice your cutting, because you'll get better. So now you see how all these fit together? So now watch, if I try and say bug and hat, does that rhyme? No, it doesn't rhyme, and look, it doesn't fit together. So only the ones that rhyme will fit together. So what I'm gonna do is I can see that lip and zip fit together and zip and chip fit together. But what if I took them all and I mixed them up? Okay, and then I started with lip. Oh, and does bug fit? Nope, so I'm gonna put bug in a new one. Does cat fit? Nope, so I'm gonna put lip, bug, and cat all by themselves, because they don't rhyme. But zip, does zip, oh, zip and lip match. Ooh, so that's going together. How about bat, does bat go with bug? No. How about cat, oh, cat and bat match, yes. Okay, jug, zip and jug? Oh, no, 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 how about, oh, bug and jug. Okay, mug, zip, nope. Bug, mug, jug. Look at that. I found it. Okay, how about lip, chip, or lip, zip, and chip? Oh, it matches. Then the last one is cat, bat, and hat. Check that out. Okay, boys and girls. So that is what we did for today. So we made our own puzzle game about rhyming words. I'm so happy that you could stay and join me in my classroom. We could play together. So now we just pick up our old supplies. Okay, if they're little, we'll throw them in the, in the garbage or the recycling. If they're big, we'll put them in our supply bin like we've been keeping all of our other stuff. If you watched any of my other videos, you can see there's the characters in there. My mystery doors, got another character. Oh, even a lizard in there. He was eating little bugs. But we keep them all together. So if we need supplies, we could always come back to them. And that's just a little supply case I made out of a paper bag from the store. So, okay, boys and girls, that is all for today. Thank you so much. Give me some likes, subscribe so you can stay with my videos, and share with, share with a friend so they could see who I am and we could all get together and have fun. And uh, I just thank you for coming to Mr. Joshua's classroom. And next time I will see you later.